in honour of the brewery's famous brewmaster. It's beer o'clock and today from the brewery Van Steenberg we have a bottle of their Golden Drac, the Brewmasters edition, coming in at 10.5% ABV. Now, a big, big shout out to James Hoggett for sending me in this beer, but not only just the beer did he send in, he actually sent me in the wonderful Golden Drac glass to go with it. So, Massive thanks out to you, James, for that. Absolutely uh, stunning gesture. Now, this beer was brewed by their current um, brewmaster, which is uh, Jeff Vaselli, I think is how you pronounce it. And it was to, it was as a tribute to um, Joseph Van Steenberg, um, for who obviously with the brewmaster of the Van Steenberg Brewery. And it also was, was at the same time to celebrate the 230th birthday of the brewery. So, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a special beer, this. Um, the funny thing is that, that I got straight away was with this glass. Now, obviously, the Van Steenberg Brewery must like this sort of shape style of glass because they also um, produce what I consider to be the best triple in the world, which is Degas. Now look at the two glasses, how similar sort of shape, this sort of this dumpy stem that you sort of hold like this. It, it's, you know, very, uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. And they're quite a real weighty glass as well. Really are, uh, you know, a, a nice weight glass. Um, yeah, it's it's different. I really I really like this. As I say, I've got a great collection of glasses in this pub shed, and uh, yeah, this is a this is another one which I shall cherish because you know it just it's so different, isn't it? It's it's yeah. Anyway, if you crack open the beer, <laughs> um, I'm expecting a lot from this because this is actually um, it's, it's brewed in whiskey barrels. And the inspiration for this beer um, come from Joseph. Apparently, he made lots and lots of uh, trips to uh, the United States. So they've sort of used that as the inspiration, being it's sort of like the the, the, the bourbon casks that it's uh, that it's aged in. So there it is. I tell you what, I was I was expecting this beer to be a lot darker than this. Believe it or not, it's a lovely sort of copper amber colour. It's got a beautiful two finger, quite a loose frothy white head on it. Um, let's get the aromas. Getting a, a hint of sort of whiskey. Oh, getting that spicy sort of Belgium yeast. Um, there's a there's a faint sort of sort of whiskey smell there. Sort of caramel. Um, there's a lot going on in this beer with the aromas. If I could sum it all up, I'm getting dried fruits, some sort of caramel malts, whiskey, and molasses. That's how I. 
I'm going to sum it up. This is the and obviously the the yeasty, the Belgium yeast. You know that that little sort of bit, that candied sort of yeast. And that's how oh, I'd like to just sum it up. There's, there's a lot going on in this beer, and I could talk about the aromas for probably ten minutes quite easily. It's got it really has got a lot going on in there. Let's let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers, James. Throw me a little bit this beer. Doesn't after some after getting the aromas of this beer, you sort of in your head you sort of get an impression of how that beer is going to be, and it's totally <laughs> nothing like what the aromas are. Not in a bad way. Don't get me wrong. This is this is good beer. This is good beer. Sultanas, raisins, prunes, vanilla, which I couldn't smell vanilla, but it's definitely I'm getting a vanilla twang to this. Um, it doesn't feel boozy, believe it or not. Another one that they've hidden the alcohol well in. Um, Spicy back end to it. A sort of coriander, lemon pepper, sort of back end. I'm trying to pick out the the whiskey notes in this. And I'm not finding any at the moment. And I want to find them. The mouthfeel, really, really nice. It's got a very low carbonation as well. So it's not dancing around on your tongue and all that. It's very, very smooth. Um, it's so smooth, this beer, it's like having a really, really good scotch. You know when you get a really, really good scotch and it's so smooth and it just, you know, a couple of little drops of water in it and it's just so smooth and goes down really, really well. Well, this has that same smooth texture as a good scotch. Um, it just glides over the tongue. I wasn't expecting this beer to be as good as this, to believe it or not. Um, it's definitely outweighed my uh, expectations on it. <sighs> to sum it up. It's very dry, dried fruity, so it's dried fruits, it's malty, um, they've got the, you've got that coriander and sort of pepperiness at the back end, it glides across the tongue, it's such a smooth beer. Um, this would be a fantastic beer um, to have with dinner. You know, um, because it's not it's not gassy. So you know, the gas from the beer is not going to bloat you out. You're going to enjoy the food. Um, the smoothness of this would go well with the food. You know, I imagine sitting in sort of in Bruges now, and I'm drinking. You know, I 
I'm drinking this while eating a, a great big bowl of mussels or your Flemish stew or something like that. This beer would accompany that really well. Now, I actually have had the, the Flemish stew, the famous Flemish beef stew, in Cambrian, Cambrinus um, in Bruges, and they actually do it in, in the, the, the standard golden drac, which is a quadruple, and that's what they actually uh, cook the, the Flemish stew in, and that's fantastic, believe it or not. Um, it's really, really good beer. And, obviously, they're from Ghent, hence the, 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 the dragon that sits on top of the belfry in Ghent. So that's uh, why it's called Golden Drac. I think the Drac is Dragon. And it's the sort of, like, I think it's the fire breathing dragon, um, which they have on there. Um, if you want to check it out on Google, um, it'll tell you all about it, the story behind the, the Golden Dragon that's been sitting on top of the belfry for, for hundreds and hundreds of years, believe it or not. Um, yeah, um, a massive, massive big thumbs up to me and a massive, massive thanks to James for, for sending me this beer in because, yeah, um, fantastic. And I'm going to say it again, yet another beer to try before you die. Get it on your list. And to be honest, it's not expensive apparently this beer, you know, it, um, You'd think, you know, you know they'd, they'd, they'd ramp up the price, but I haven't really checked online how much it is, but I, but I know it's not ex it's not an expensive beer, and for that, that makes it even better. This is this is pure quality. Um, if any of you have tried this beer or not tried, or even if you haven't, you know, tried this beer, let me know. Any of you have not tried this beer, put it on your list. Get a bottle of it, because I'll tell you what, I'm... I'm really impressed with it. It's just... It's just fantastic. I don't know what to say it, it, any more about this beer. It's, it's that good. Um, Sometimes you have a beer and it just takes the words out of your mouth sometimes and <laughs> and this is one of them I'm afraid. It's that good. Well impressed and I will be having this again. I, you know, I will uh, be having a date with this again, definitely. Um, look, get hold of a bottle. It's available in the UK. You can, you can get it from, uh, I think, Beers of Europe, uh, um, I think um, uh, Beer Hawk have had it on occasions. Um, definitely get it. Uh, he has it down at uh, Beautiful Beers in, in Bury St Edmunds. So look, get yourself a bottle of this. You will not be disappointed. You're going to thank me for it later. So get yourself a bottle. Leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the view. Hit that little bell and get, get notified every time I bring out a new review. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Because without you subscribers, the channel's on its on its knees. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.